Hopefully we won't be out too late, Shauna. Whatever. And just for the night, could you lose the tongue ring? Whatever. Homer, is it too late to change babysitters? Yeah. I guess we have no choice. Here's the number for the poison control center, the allergy hotline, and if the kids misbehave, Papa John's pizza. Don't worry, Mrs. Simpson. <laughs> this is pointless. We learned all the new dangerous drugs last year. Sprack, Zup, Borzo, and Crystal Bam. I hear they're mixing Bam with Zup. This bag of concentrated death is what the kids today call Blizzard. Allow me to demonstrate. On skin. Let's get out of here. I guess we could watch the PowerPoint presentation in bed tonight. Oh, that sounds magical. Just don't be conspicuous. A wedding expo. It's like going to a thousand weddings at once. Sneaking in will be the most romantic thing we've ever done. More than a real wedding? A thousand times more. Hmm? Your bride will look radiant next to these hideous bridesmaids' dresses made in colors known to scare Seagull. Who will protect me when you die? Nothing's gonna happen. Uh, I feel like a walk. You wanna take a walk? I feel glued to my seat for reasons I don't understand. Let's see if we can both fit in Homer's underwear. This is very sobering. Why did we think this would be cool? What are you kids doing out so late? Babysitter party at our house. This was a great idea. It's like all the fun of a wedding without the boredom of a wedding. Well, the Toastmaster is an AI-powered microphone that guarantees your best man's toast will be heartwarming and tasteful. Give me the mic. When I heard a guy was marrying Selma, I thought that poor genius must be fully sighted and not marrying her to harvest her organs. Thank God, the Heffernans. <laughs> and the number one new wedding trend is true love. True love, true love. Mm, perfect night. You wait here while I go pay the babysitter. <laughs> I'm not paying you! Get out of my house! <laughs> Have I picked you up yet? I can't tell! You're so light! Voulez-vous coucher avec... Wow! Go! Go! Dave! Marge, I'm afraid your days of walking are over. Oh my god! For about 36 hours. By then, this mild ankle sprain should be good as new. Oh, and it was such a good date night. Well, now it's a hernia morning. See, you've got a tear in your abdominal wall and a section of your intestine is pushed through. It's just some scalpel work around your scrotum. Oh! Possible side effects may include hallucinations, irritability, inability to focus. <laughs> huh? What are you doing? Helping you get better. I was watching Animal Planet and they said if it can't reach its own food, the hippo dies. Why, you little. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I signed us up for physical therapy this afternoon. We'll start tomorrow. I would caution against physical therapy. Guys like us don't look good in shorts. What the? Oh, why is it never hair growth? Oh, you've got this, Madge. Now focus on your girl. What sports are we getting you ready for, Madge? Rollerblading? Uh, Muay Thai? No, oh, nothing like that. I only have to be in good enough shape to take care of an immobile 240-pound man. Mountain biking? Free bouldering? I got it. Marge, we are going to get you kite surfing. Kite surfing? I could do that with homie. I want to learn kite surfing. Let's go kite surfing now. Middle-aged ladies learn it now. Come on, kite surfing with me. Come on, kite surfing. Kite surfing's a simple sport. All you need is the wind and the wave. Keep the kite swooping, Marge. Follow the timing of my pecs. 
Lift, right. Mom is kite surfing while Dad is eating three desserts. Oh, your grandma and I had our differences, but we stopped arguing when she disappeared for three decades. You're doing great. Look at those guys eating half portions, trying to stay fit. They're just setting themselves up to meet my buddy's torn ACL and pinched nerve. Hey, the riskiest thing we're going to do is have lasagna. We just had lasagna. Have it again. Ooh, ooh. Homer, I'm going to the beach. I packed lunch for two if you want to come. It's been so long since you made a move on me. Or any move. Uh, how about if I drone you a kiss? <laughs> Please, homie, you're my husband. Get up and live. Sorry, Marge. I gotta go with my gut. Hey, can you watch the kids this afternoon? Sorry, Marge. Hernia, we make quite a team. Let's drop him in the woods and see if he can find his way back. Our parents are drifting apart, and as much as I don't enjoy doing this, I need the advice of the only couple we know that seems to like each other. <laughs> guys, 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 guys! Let's focus! Focus! Please give me something useful. Okay. Your parents have just got to find something they both like doing. Common interests! Of course. Can you drive us down to the beach? I have a school project on sea turtles. Don't listen to them! You can see me? It's always the babies. Marge, she looks so beautiful. I've been such a fool. And you forgot to get a parking pass. <laughs> Our work is done, Lou. I'm a coming, Marge! Ooh, gross. Homer, you're making me mad. Would you like me to rehab you at work? When I got married, I took a vow. Something, 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 till death, something. Homie, you came for me. Strong woman, I love you. <gasps> and I love you. And never again will I listen to a doctor. Chief, I've got to make dinner for my kids. Could you please tell me what this is about? Like most physical therapists in America, this man is actually a Russian spy. Didn't you ever ask yourself how a beach bum like him could afford a top-of-the-line 2007 Saturn SUV with a full spare tire? I guess I didn't want to know. All units, move in!